Okay, so today we're going to be making bioplastic. So plastic, just using things you've got around home. Now plastic, there's different types of plastic. We can have plastic that is really quite stiff and hard to move. That might be really good for making plastic spoons or cups. We have plastic that's a lot more flexible and we might need that for making molds, for example, or potentially making plastic bags. And we have other types of plastic that can be used for decorations or vases or anything like that. Each plastic has different properties. We can, some of them have got different levels of flexibility. Some of them have got different levels of stretch. So for example, this one has quite a lot of stretch in it. This one is much harder to bend. So depending on the type of plastic we make and how we make it, you can get different properties. So we're going to make plastic out of just using two ingredients. We're going to use just some normal vinegar and we're going to use some milk. And our milk has to be kept warm. You can warm it up in the microwave or you can warm it up on the stove. It must be above 49 degrees. That's the important number. So keep it above 49 degrees. So here it is at 49 degrees and we're just going to make it really simple. Inside the milk we have a protein called casein and we're going to cause, make that casein link together like a series of beads on a necklace. Now to do that, you can do it just using the things that you have at home. I'm going to have just a small cup, quarter cup of milk. And pour it into another cup. So I can keep it separate, that way I can always have the same amounts. And I'm going to have just a spoonful of vinegar. And what happens is, it causes all of that casein protein to stick together. And we get what's called curds and whey. Curds are the lumpy bits of casein that have stuck together and whey is the liquid that is left behind. Now that casein plastic is just like the plastic that they used to make buttons out of. Before World War II they used to make all buttons out of casein plastic. Now I can separate all that out just using something like this and just a normal cloth poke it in a little bit. I'm going to pour all my casein plastic in there. I give a little bit of a squeeze. And there is my plastic. Now you can mold the plastic you can do lots of different things with it. Sometimes it will be crumbly, sometimes it won't. Now you will need to perfect this recipe. This recipe is not a perfect recipe. You might need to try different types of milk, whether it's full cream milk or whether it's low fat milk. So try the different types of milk. You might need to try different amounts of the vinegar as well. All of those things will cause the properties of the plastic you make to change. Your goal is to make the best plastic you can and then to des design a product that uses that plastic. Good luck.